hello everyone and welcome back to our channel today in this video we are going to talk about a feature that is available for the salesforce flows and specifically for the screen flows so today we are going to discuss that how we can add conditional visibility in salesforce screen flows so for this we are going to create a screen flow and there we are going to define some conditions on the basis of which uh, that will decide that the component will be visible to the user or not so before creating the flow first we need to understand what is the component visibility and, and what are the uses of adding the component visibility to the flow so the feature of adding conditional visibility lets you control what components appear on the screen and that allows a more personalized and dynamic user experience and whether you are working with the sales service or any other department this feature can make your screen flows more intuitive and effective so basically by adding the component visibility to the screen flow we can decide whether a specific field or component will be visible on the screen flow or not so the condition that we are going to define in this example is that we are going to create a screen flow that will ultimately create account records from the user input and for creating account records we have two address fields first is the billing address and the second one is shipping address so according to the condition if the shipping address is same as the billing address then the shipping address section will not appear on the screen so in the screen flow we are also going to add a checkbox field that is that will be true when both the address are same and when we select the checkbox field as true the shipping address section will not appear on the screen flow so let me show you the structure of the flow that we are going to create so here you can see this is going to be a screen flow and in the first screen we are going to enter the account details and then to decide whether the both of the address fields are same we are going to add a decision element so the decision element will decide that if both the address fields are same uh, one of them will not appear on the screen that is shipping address and if both the address fields are different then they both will appear on the screen flow so let's move ahead and see the process of creating a screen flow and adding the conditional visibility to it so as of now i have logged into my salesforce account and right now i'm on the setup page of salesforce lightning and from here we will navigate to the flow setup for that you have to go to the quick find box and here search and select flows so under the process automation select flows and now in the flow setup window click on the new flow button so here we have two options that either you can create this flow from scratch or use a already inbuilt template so in this example we are going to create the flow from scratch so i will select this option and click on the next button and as i have told you that uh, we are going to create a screen flow and also we can only add the component visibility to the screen flow only because it is the only flow through which a user can interact and give input so we will select the option screen flow and click on the create button so as i have told you in the scenario that we are going to create account records so for that first we need to add the screen element that will take the input of account details so here we are going to add the screen element and here we have to enter the label and the api name so the label that i'm going to enter here is create accounts and the api name will be auto field so for the input of account name we are going to first add the text field to the screen region so here is the text component we have to drag and drop it to the screen region so the label for this component is going to be the account name because it will take input for the name of account and after this we are going to add the phone component so here it is and now we will enter the api name and the label for this also and now we are going to add the two address field that is one for shipping address and one for billing address so for that search and select the address field and one more address component for the billing address and above this we are going to add the checkbox fields that will be true if both the address fields are same so here it is checkbox component we are going to add it above the address components so the checkbox field will check that if the shipping address is same as billing address so so i'm going to enter the label as check shipping address same as billing address so when the both address field will be the same uh the user will select this checkbox and now we are going to enter the label and the other details for the address fields so first is for billing address so here is the label for api name for the billing address 
and now we are going to add the label and the api name for the shipping address and now we have to select the address component on which we are going to add the component visibility so here the user will check if shipping address is same as billing address then the shipping address component will not appear on the screen so for the shipping address we are going to add the component visibility for that you have to scroll down and click on the drop down set component visibility and here select the condition as when all conditions are met so here we need to define the condition so here you can see three fields resource operator and values so the first resource here is going to be the checkbox field so for that select shipping address same as billing address equals to false so with this if the checkbox is not selected then only the shipping address will be visible on the screen flow and after defining the conditional visibility click on the done button this so as of now we have configured the screen element and after this we will click on the done button so in the condition when both address are same then the user will select the checkbox field so in that situation the shipping address should be auto filled and for that we are going to add a decision element to the flow for that again click on the plus icon and here select the decision element so what this decision element is going to do so it is going to check for same address so we will enter the label as check for same address and the api name will be auto filled so here we have to define the outcome details so the label for the outcome is going to be same address for billing and shipping so the resource here is going to be the checkbox field that is shipping address same as billing address and that is equals to true and after creating the decision element we are going to create a new resource that we will use in the assignment so to create a new resource click on the toggle bar and here click and here click on the new resource button so the new resource here is going to be a variable and the api name will be account record in the data type here is going to be a record and the object here is going to be account and after entering all these fields click on the done button so this resource is for the account records that we are going to create and for and now we are going to add the assignment element for both the condition when the address is same and when the address is different so for that click on the plus icon and here select the assignment element and here in the assignment element we have to again enter the label and the api name so the label i am going to enter here is fill account details when address is same so now we have to map the values of address field with the respective values of the billing field in the section set variable values we are going to map the values of address field so here the first field is going to be account record with name that is account name that is going to equal of account name and the next one is billing city so again we will select the account record and then billing city that is going to be equal of billing address city value and in the same way we are going to add the and in the way i have mapped the billing city in the same way we will map the billing postal billing state and billing country so as of now i have mapped the all the values of address field that is billing city billing street postal code state province and the billing country and so this was for billing address and now we'll map the field values of shipping address and that we are going to do in the same way and we will map it again in the same way billing address and for the city city value and for the street street value and so on 
So as of now, we have mapped the, all the address fields for the billing address as well as shipping address. So this mapping is done when both the address fields are going to be similar. And for the default outcome, we are going to again map the address field. For that, click on the default outcome and add the assignment here in this also. So the default outcome is when both the address fields are different. So here we have to map the variable with the values like when the account record shipping address is different. It will be mapped with the fields of shipping address fields only. So like in the previous assignment, we have mapped the shipping address fields with the billing address fields. And now, so when the address fields are different, the values are going to be of the, so when the values are different, we will assign different values that, that is shipping address value for the shipping fields. And so the value here is going to be like shipping address, city value. And in the same way, we have to map the shipping street, postal code, country and state. So now we have mapped the values for the situation for the condition when address are same and also for the condition when both the address fields are different. So at last we are going to add the create record label to the flow that is going to create the account records. So the label here is going to be create accounts and the API name will be autofilled here again. So the record here is going to be the account record and that's it. So as of now, our flow is completed and now we will first save this flow. So the flow label here is going to be create account records and then click save. And to implement this screen flow on the record pages, first we need to activate it. And before activation, it is better to debug the flow first. And for debug, we have to simply click on the debug button. And as we click on it, it is asking for the input variables. So here we will simply click on the run button. And you can see these are account, these are the fields appearing on the screen along with the two address fields. So here we have to enter the account name, phone name and the billing address. And this is the checkbox field that is going to decide the condition visibility of the shipping address. So if I select this checkbox fields as true, you can see the shipping address is disappeared from the screen. So that means our flow is working fine and this is how you can add condition visibility to a screen flow. And let me check that the changes are working fine in the background also. So here we will create the account. Now you can see I've entered all the fields required to create an account record. And after this I will click on the next button. You can see the record is created. And from here I will navigate to the accounts tab to show that flow is working fine. So you can see this is the account record that we have created test account apex. So this was all about adding conditional visibility to your Salesforce screen flow. And I hope that you have understood whatever I explained in the video. And you can also put your suggestion in the comment that what you liked in the video or anything you want to suggest that we can improve. And you can also comment a topic in the comment section that you want us to cover in our upcoming videos. So this was all about adding component visibility to screen flows. And I hope that you have liked this video. Then please do like, share and subscribe us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video, you will get a notification regarding that. And thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.